Hello, welcome. This is Tea and Tice, the Great British Wrestling Podcast for Great British Wrestling, as featured on Bodyslam.net and the Jonas Podcast in Network, as featured. Wait, I've done that part. I am the great host, the Great British Attachu, Attaku, Mr. Andy Mo, <laughs> Andy Tumos, and joined as always by the can't help but laugh at my fluffing of lines, Big Daddy Dan. How are we doing, Big Daddy? Uh, I am okay, thank you very much. I will do my best to fluff some lines as well, just to make you feel better-ish. Just a, just a little bit. I mean, there are so many great matches coming this month. It is not surprised I am a little bit flabbergasted by just this sheer, sheer, a mass of incredible shows that we can talk about. And uh, we can't go through every single show on our list for every sh- thing coming out each and every week. It is just would just be impossible. We'd be here all day. So we're going to do our best to try and maybe pick some of our some of the matches for the bigger shows that we think are coming up. Uh, some smaller shows that we definitely want to give a shout out because we're good friends with a lot of people these days. <laughs> and, uh, and by the end of it, I think we're going to wrap up with our Five most excited four shows and five most excited four matches. You've got a whole host of matches, lists, matches, and shows listed in front of you. You know, are you excited for coming in February? I'm very excited for February. I'm going to be at a couple of shows in February, two definitely, possibly three. Um, are you going to be attending many shows yourself, Andrew? Definitely, I'm going to be at a show this weekend coming up. I'm hoping to be at a show the following weekend coming up. Uh, whether I go to a third or a fourth, maybe something I've got to remember. We we have been invited down to Cardiff as well, and I'm uh, and that's shaping up to be something really, really special in March. Uh, so might have to just keep my money back a little bit and shout out to Slam Masters. The uh, yeah, I might go check that show out trip down the car I, I have kept that date in my diary free um <laughs> and i think i would be you see i i'm i'm very lucky i i know that you have back issues um i can just roll a sleeping bag out in the back of my giant ass car and keep it <laughs> <laughs> no no but i i've looked into how much it would be for the train i've looked into how much it would be for the hotel and honestly it's much more affordable than i thought it would actually going to be so it's put it you know heavy on my radar but you know trip to cardiff as well so never been to cardiff never been to cardiff myself no no and uh you know because of wrestling i'm going to a lot of places i've never been to before i've never been to coventry and now i have been to coventry i was there last weekend to watch wrestle carnival it was a fantastic show uh we're gonna be wrap- we're gonna be talking about that during our review at the end of the month uh so keep an eye out for that as plus you know just a quick three word review variety wrestling show what wrestle kind of is <laughs> and uh yeah great show really really was and uh, i I, say, I really look forward to talking about it uh as well as already shows i've seen this you know icw's now free on youtube uh for the icw fight clubs uh, so go check out their latest new wave pro wrestling have put up their most recent show on youtube that is all free to watch uh demand progress has just released the most recent Progress Wrestling show. The New Year lull, the Christmas lull, it's over. Mm. British Wrestling is back and it's booming in and it's exploded. It is February. There is so much more to come and there's already been so much to watch. And uh, yeah, looking looking forward to it. Uh, I mean, kicking off this Friday, I want to talk about Fight Factory Pro in Ireland first. For one major shout out for one huge matchup coming up uh, for Fight Factory over in Ireland. And that is ICW champion Leighton Buzzard versus the longest reigning Irish junior heavyweight in Fabio. Mm -hmm. This is Fight Factory 25 or Fight Factory XXV. Because we're also Roman. 
Uh, there's also a lot of great other matches on that card. So, uh, but Leighton Buzzard, Fabio, longest reigning Irish junior heavyweight champion versus the new ICW world champion, the traveling ICW world champion. Because that boy is getting around. He's over at WXW. He's in Canada. Uh, Which is awesome because that is what makes it a world championship. Yeah, and shout out to TNT Extremes Championship due to Charles Crowley defending his title recently over in uh, Canada. Uh, so this made the title a world champion after it previously been defended uh, by Dan Maloney in Dubai. So He's just been announced for title. WXW as well, hasn't he? Uh, which one? Sorry, who? Leighton? Crowley. Crowley, Crowley, yeah, he's going to be doing uh, part of the Smash Wrestling uh, preview, uh, no, Smash Wrestling showcase match uh, during the showcase show, which will also feature UK's uh, Progress Wrestling as well. There's some great European wrestling shows, so we may get a little bit of time to just, just squeeze out a few, just a small shout out to a couple of promotions that we'll be featuring. UK British wrestling talent, of course. You know, I, I don't do this willy nilly, but uh, yeah, well, big shout out to FFP Fight Factory Pro for that match. Uh, bring your own beers as usual, apparently, yeah. with Fight Factory Pro Wrestling. Save Jesus Destiny versus the Bearded Beauties, uh, PB and J in action, and uh more so yeah ffpw uh discovery wrestling as well and these are actually these shows will be going on today as we you know it's not much just giving us huge high to these shows these are happening today as this episode is released uh late again on a friday just due to my traveling schedule recently uh so it's due to your traveling schedule and my really busy schedule <laughs> yeah <laughs> uh there's a great show in Edinburgh as well, which is, uh, as we say, tonight. And uh, big shout out to Ian Skinner, who's going to be on the card, friend of the show. He's facing Judas Gray, who I got to see at Wrestle Carnival. I got an awesome video of Judas Gray doing this huge senton dive yeah. off the top pro to the outside. It was incredible. Um, uh, big shout out to all the Joe Hendry students. Just to blow a bit of smoke up your ass, uh -huh. um, the photography that you did at Wrestle Carnival was fantastic. I know you've had some wrestlers approach you to use some of the photos, um, but, yeah, credit where it's due, mate. Took some damn good photos while you were there. Oh, yeah, Lana actually recently, as you mentioned, uh, yeah, and uh, at TNT Extreme, again, shows back, we had people ask them to use And when I was over in WXW Germany, I had my photos used by... Uh, uh, three different so yeah it's quite nice and you know wxw for their showcase uh for their w their 16 karat gold are doing a two-day weekend uh photography seminar with the whole show as well now really yeah learn to do ringside photography profile shots everything this is going down on 16 karat wxw germany i am so gutted i cannot go to 16 karat this year that's oh. really cool it is so cool. It just you mentioned my photos, and so uh, yeah, just big shout out. I think that is such an awesome idea. WXW Germany, uh, but also as we mentioned, Ian Skinner uh, versus Judas Gray, but Joe Hendry versus G Money uh, for the Discovery Championship match. I'm sure, I'm sure we're gonna get something good from it. I'm sure we are. Uh, Casey versus Lana for the women's championship, uh, and the match Rio versus Emerson Jane. Yes, please. I want to see that one. Discovery yeah. usually take forever to put their shows up. Discovery, I want to see Rio versus Emerson Jane. Can you please put your show out as soon as possible? Thank you, and goodbye. <laughs> Saturday. Yeah, uh, Saturday, there's a brand new company in Leeds. Uh, it's going to be called Planet Wrestle Entertainment, and their first show is Planetary Go. Uh, and it has got Leon Slayer versus Jack Bandicoot. Nice. I'm uh, just that you know, that is, uh, we know, I, I, you know, Leon. It's right out there. He is one of the best right now. Everybody knows who his name is. Jack Bandicoot needs to be on more people's lips because this dude is so good in so many ways. He is so innovative. In, uh, he uses his small stature. 
he's just brilliant. And uh, him versus Leon Slater is just going to be one hell of a creative matchup and uh, something I'm super excited for. Also, Rebecca Reznor, uh, the uh, third member of Crash Band, uh, sorry, Crash Boat. Uh, will be there, and uh, she's taking on Evie Bateman. Jake Silver will also be in action at that show. So, uh, I know you're a big fan of Vincerico as well. He's in action against yeah. Nathan Black. Yeah, I, I think he's... I wouldn't say an underrated wrestler, because people that know him know what a good wrestler he is. He just hasn't built a name yet. Mm. I'm sure it's a yet. Yeah, he's somebody who looks absolutely fantastic, and I I hear lots and lots of good things. I've still re- rarely had a chance to uh, see a lot of his work myself, so it's something I want to see and uh, yeah, a name right out there right now. Liam Slater, for me, one of the best uh, prototypical traditional wrestlers, and I love the fact that he's like this modern-day modern day wrestler i i, I love the love the gimmick you know the gimmick of no gimmick i'm just a wrestler <laughs> yeah that, that a gimmick. Was how slipknot started we're a gimmick by having no gimmick except you've got the most fucking obvious gimmick in the world <laughs> yeah uh looks like a really fun show uh so that's holbeck in leeds uh, now on to the show i am going to on sunday the 5th of February, which is Sovereign Pro Wrestling. Heavy is the head that is the at the Academy in Manchester. Uh, I'm just going to quickly run down the entire card and we're going to talk about a couple of these matches. Joseph Connors versus Simon Miller for the Sov Pro Championship. Josh Alexander will be defending the Impact World title against Kez Evans. Lucia Lee versus Harley Hudson versus Lizzie Evo versus Mercedes Blaze versus Tonga. Versus L.A. Taylor, and that is for the Sov Pro Women's Championship. Sam Bradwell versus Brady Phillips. The Killick Dev, a group of Kelly Six, Leighton Buzzard, and Danny Duggan versus RJ Singh and the models, Joey Hayes and Danny Hope. Ender Cara versus Leon Slater. Shreddy versus Commander Sterling. The 8 7, Roy Johnson and Alexander Roth versus. R.P. Davies and H.T. Drake, who is replacing the injured uh, Cumbrian Outlaw. Ian Skinner versus Smashing Mike. Thatcher Wright delivers his Thatcher Wright address to Manchester. It's going to be a great show. I'm really excited. You know, I am I was basically sold on the show, Leon Slater versus Endicara, when his first matchup was announced. And I know that many people out there may not understand or truly understand why I am so hyped for this match. But I would just urge people to go check out Endicara Clips. He is one of the fastest wrestlers I have ever seen wrestle. Uh, he... Hits breakneck speeds that make Callum Newman and RKJ look slow. He's able to transition so well technically. He's able to hit springboards and hit these huge dies. And then, of course, you've got Liam Slater, who is, you know, super quick, super high athletic. It's going to be an insane match. And I am hyped, hyped, hyped for this match. It's it's going to be awesome. It really, really is. Um, however, there is another match on that card that I'm super hyped for. Which one was that one? Sam Grabwell versus Brady Phillips. The, the whole packages that they've been doing with Brady Phillips and Sam Gradwell has been really good. And this is what Soft Pro have been really, you know, open and upfront about, you know, get on at them work with them create stories create work yeah you know work to not just make yourself succeed as a promote you know but but the promotion succeed as well because you guys can't succeed without the promotion the promotion can't succeed without you so the best idea is to work with these promotions and with so many more wrestlers on the scene now it's going to be a right idea to really work as you can to be a main eventer in one promotion whilst being maybe a traveler in other promotions so 
get get yourself uh, sniffed in there. And that's exactly what Kelly Six and uh, the Collective has been doing. It's such an eclectic, strange group of people, Kelly Six, Leighton Buzzard and Danny Duggan. But I'm very interested to see in where the sort of like storyline of them forming in the last show and where that goes. Uh, RJ singing the models, you know, this is it's going to be a, a bit of a sleep map, but impact title on the line. Yep. yep. I, I mean, I'm a huge fan of Josh Alexander. Big um, time. And I'm a, I'm a huge hater of Kez Evans, which is obviously the right thing to be. Yes. Um, I hate so, that yeah. man so much. He is just so such a vile, vile human being is Kev Evans. And he really... He held the ICW uh, championship and held ICW together during that period of no fans, the WWE Network era. He held I mean, it together. Yeah, I, I, I'm not. I'm, I'm not trying to say this to sort of like brown nose with soft pro, but they've put on a bloody good card, haven't they? They really have, and the, the, the six women uh, match is just going to be insane. Uh, a great mix of different types of battled hardened competitors, uh, young superstars. It's it's interesting. I like what Soft Pro are doing. I like how they're hyping things up. And, of course, it's Ian Skinner versus Smashing Mike. <laughs> You know, with smashing with, Mike's dad in the corner. <laughs> with smashing Mike's dad in the corner, he's gonna be front row, I believe. Uh, it's smashing my. It, it, I I don't know if they've got my seat sorted yet, but can I have my seat next to uh, <laughs> smashing Mike's dad? That would be awesome if I can. Oh, yeah. oh, you're not gonna want to do that. Uh, you're not gonna want to do that because let's be honest here. Knowing smashing Mike, which we do a little, um, I can imagine that his dad never gets the opportunity to speak. When he's around Mike, so he'll probably want to talk your ear off because it'll be the only time he ever gets to speak. I'm sure he hasn't done as much talking as Ian Skinner, though. <laughs> oh, we love you, Ian. We really, really do. Uh, also in action, Rev Pro UK live in London. I believe this will probably be available uh, to watch on the Rev Pro on Demand live. That's how they've been doing these shows recently. And uh, it's you know that they, they they finally put a women's match on a card again. Danny Luna <gasps> versus jo- Jody Fret. Uh gonna be interesting. Southside women's championship on the line. Jody Fret is, of course, a uh, hard-nosed Canadian veteran that everybody thought was a rookie because she got bo- beaten up by uh, Athena in AEW, but she's been around for like ages and she's a hard-hitting, hard-nosed, uh tough, tough cookie. And, uh, uh, Danny Luna as a power girl herself. This, it's going to be a good match, to be honest. It's going to yeah, be a really good definitely. match. Uh, Robbie X versus Kid Lycos for the Cruiserweight title. That'd be good. Uh, Eddie Dennis and Michael Oku. As I say, this has been slowly building uh, for a while now with Oku, the Mills, and Eddie Dennis situation. So, uh, as we say, Eddie Dennis, last time we saw him, was getting picked up off the floor by Connor Mills and taken to the back. So, uh, and he, he recently also called Michael Oku a selfish performer. Hmm. Story lines brewing. Uh, Arrows are hungry. We're going to be returning to Rev Pro UK. That's awesome to see. I love the Arrows are hungry. Icarus and Dover. They know how much we love them. I've had them on the show. I've spoken to them. They are awesome guys. You should check out that interview. Uh, it's just a great story about how two people created a wrestling scene in a country that had no wrestling scene. It's uh, it's brilliant. They are great guys doing great things, and I'm glad to see them back in the UK. Yeah, I, I got probably money on them facing the Greedy Souls because I know the Greedy Souls have recently been over in WXW and, uh, you know, connections are forming. Jurassic Pro Wrestling is also going on and they have got a stacked card of young talent, starting off with Xander Bryant versus Nino Bryant versus Nick Payne for the Lost World Championship. Will the brothers be working together? Or will they just be going at it full throttle to get that championship? Corey McRae will take on Tommy Lawrence. The Odyssey, Adonis Payne and Artemis will take on the lads. Ben Jones and Alex Echo, that match I want to talk to you about in a minute. 
Rogan and Dexter are going to have a tables match. Xander will be taking on Truman Roswell. And it was meant to be Tommy Kyle versus Kelly Gray. However, Tommy, Tommy had an injury this week, didn't he? Yeah, uh, shout out Tommy, Kyle. I uh, hope you're doing well. Uh, rest up. Uh, broken tibula, I believe, at the recent Riot Cabaret show. You talk nothing but good things about the guys uh, behind you know behind the curtains at riot cabaret for the way they looked after him uh he's going to be out of action so make sure you go support him i know he's got a brand new t-shirt out the absolute maverick it's actually a fantastic t-shirt uh, i wouldn't mind mom myself uh so i may have to get on there help the man out because uh yeah he's going to be out of action i'm assuming broken tv it's going to be about four months minimum well he happens to go to the same gym I do. So um, if you want to get it signed, give me a shout and I'll, I'll, I'll get one ordered and get him to sign it for you. That sounds like a great idea. Uh, now you want to talk about a couple of matches. Yeah, uh, Odyssey versus the lads. That match is going to be brilliant. Um, we love the lads. We think they're great. They are such nice people. We we hate the Odyssey. Um, we think Adonis Payne is an awful human being and Artemis is just a vicious, nasty, vindictive, powerful person. Um, honestly, I can't wait for this match. It's going to be brilliant. I didn't know they were going by the Odyssey, but I get it and I love it. I love the whole connection to the the Greek and the Adonis Payne and uh, Artemis is the uh, Greek art show. I mean, loving it. Odyssey. Uh, and yeah, big fan of the lads. Ben Jones, Alex Echo, uh, Corey McRae, uh Always, always, I think, such an underrated talent in the UK. He's taking on Tommy Lawrence, who I think used to go by David Reckham. Hmm. Learn something new every day. Now he's Tommy Lawrence. This is why I have you on here, you see. You're the, you're the brains. I, I I just sort of like smile and nod. And on Tuesday the 7th, do you know what? I do know what. Tuesday Graps will never die because modern nomad pro wrestling are in action. Uh, you got the Kid Lycos annual treasure hunt tag team battle for supremacy of the venue. Uh, I know this will feature Kid Lycos, Kid Lycos 2, Martin Kirby, Harry Chapman, Rio, Carlos Roma, uh, Big Guns Joe, Dan Maloney. Uh, great to see uh, Carlos Roma back in the UK. Obviously, the former tag team partner of A-Kid as the White Wolf or Team White Wolf. Uh, Detective Gene Money versus Danny Luna versus Mad Kerr versus Elijah for the Shit Wolf Championship. And Luke Jacobs has got his annual Luke Jacobs is going to fuck you up international interpretational. Yeah. And Who's Leon, he going to oh, I have no idea, but Nico Slate, uh, N- Nico Angelo and Leon Slater are going to absolutely blow the roof off with an incredible singles match because they, they always throw in one singles and it's going to be a blind draw of a match and this time it is going to be Nico Angelo versus Leon Slater which yeah that's going to be nuts yeah oh Friday the 10th of February Black Country Championship Wrestling I love BCCW they put on some great shows it's the King of Division 2 CJ Rawlings versus Mark Clark for the Black Country Championship the O one. one do one. Thank you very much. Maloney and Doris will be taking on Charlie Sterling and Lee Hunter. LJ Cleary takes on Joseph Connors. Luke Douglas versus Jack Ball. Lucas Cashmere versus TJ Sky versus Aluna Blue versus Matt Clark versus Regan versus Luke Douglas or Jack Ball um, in a KOTD Championship 15 minute scramble. I like scramble matches. Scramble matches would be really interesting because you literally never not kind of yeah. I, the whole idea of it is you never know who's going to be holding the title at any given time and who's going to be holding the title at the end of the fifteen minutes. And you know uh, the other thing I like about this match being a scramble match. What do you like? It's about? not a rumble. It's rumble season, and it's not a rumble. It's a scramble. So I like that. <clears throat> Give it going. I recently got to see CJ Rawlins in action, the current FCW uh, Black Country champion, uh, and he is a phenomenal competitor. Uh, 0-1-2-1 against Charlie Sterling and Lee Hunter, which is a very interesting combination. They've tagged before, I'm sure. 
more than likely, more than mm-hmm. likely, of course, uh, Lee Hunter has been a perennial tag team partner of his brother. Yeah. The other Hunter, I've forgotten it. The other, but Lee Hunter, Jim Hunter, <laughs> Lee Hunter, uh, but and Charlie Sun, of course, typically tags with Nick Riley. But uh, yeah, so it's an interesting combination. And uh, LJ Cleary versus Joseph Connors should be an excellent matchup. Definitely, definitely. definitely. Purpose Wrestling. Yes, it's they are also in action. I'm in love. If you wanted to go to another show, this could be a show you could probably maybe attend at the Moen R Space in Wimbledon. It would be, but unfortunately, I am DJing that night. DJing? DJing. Oh. Uh, but yes, another great card for Moen R Space. I, I swear you'll DJing every time that, that they're having a show. I think they're doing it on purpose just to keep me away. Oh, poor Dan. Uh, but it's uh, yeah, it's another great show lined up. Uh, a couple of uh, matches here to really excite me. Sapphire Reed, uh, young phenomenal uh, talent that I really just don't want to get on the wrong side of because she's got a mean face. <laughs> this is Mercedes Blaze. It's just another woman who I don't want to get on the wrong side of because she got a mean face too. And uh, I'm pretty sure... Both of them would absolutely destroy me for saying they have mean faces. <laughs> yes. But I'm going to have to live with it. It's been said. There's no taking it back. The teams with attitude are in action. You know I love Mark Drew and Kieran Lacey. The Power, the power Rangers. And they're facing the 8-7, uh, which should be... Oh, no, they're facing the Sunshine Machine, which should be a really interesting matchup, actually. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Michael Oku. Yeah. He's an action. David Francisco. I love myself, David Francisco. He's been on the show. He's such a fun guy uh, from Portugal. Originally came over here because he wanted to get better at wrestling. Uh, of course, uh, part of the Rev Pro UK contender division as well. Yes, he succeeded, hasn't he? He has, yeah. Uh, he's got a big match coming up in uh, for Rye's Pro Wrestling in uh, France. Yep. Yeah. Uh, you've also got New Wave Wrestling over in uh, Wales. Uh, Dead Sad Boys, Billy Hayes and J- J- Jason Joshua will be in action against Harrison Bennett and Shane Hooker. Uh, we know that uh, Brendan White is a big fan of Shane Hooker and Harrison Bennett. He's told us many good things about them when he was on our show. Uh, you've also got Flash Morgan Webster versus the current New Wave Pro champion, James Ellis. Love the Dead Sad Boys, so yep, great matches there. Uh, so yeah, as I say that is Cardiff, Wales is an excellent show coming up on the 11th and uh, Saturday, the 11th, North Wrestling NCL, the Anarchy, Anarchy Brewery in Newcastle, all roads lead, lead north. Uh, match for well, you, from the maybe? M4, the M4 kind of just goes across. Rory Coyle versus Ali Catch in a North Ultraviolent Championship. Do you think she'll get the knife out again? I do hope not. This is ultraviolent. Uh, boisterous behaviour. Uh, the recently on Slayer versus Robbie X and Michael Oku. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, Bad Boy Jim will be in action. Amir Jordan versus Warhorse. Daz Black makes his North NCL debut against Jet Marshall. Great to see uh, Daz Black making his uh, debut for promotions down south. TNT Extreme last month. North Wrestling NCL this month coming. You know, we're big fans of Daz Black over here. With the entire podcast. Uh, Amir Jordan, Warhorse. That's an interesting one. That is an interesting one. She Wolves will also be an action who we love. We think they are amazing. I mean, sorry, we hate. They're awful, bad people. They're awful. <laughs> um, she will however, go. if you want to go to that show, you better already have a ticket. It's sold out again. 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 Uh, you know, I've probably said this about the last three times they sold out their shows. I think it's time to get a bigger building. I know these things can be risky, and I know sometimes, but sometimes maybe it's just worth a punt to throw. Maybe just... One big show a year, maybe. So, like, just throw one big show every now and then in around the Anarchy Brewery shows, the sellout shows. Could be a way to do it. Yeah. I don't know. 
let us know. Are you, are you frustrated at North NCL? Are you always dying to get a ticket, but are always sold out? Uh, well, you know, let us know. Buy let them know. Buy them faster. Exactly. Uh, sold out shows every time. So if you are missing out, it's pretty much your own fault. Sunday the 12th. This is progress. Yeah, I'm possibly going to be at this show. Uh, this is the uh, show in Manchester. Uh, what's it called? The Things of Love or something to do with love? Because, you know, it's February, so Valentine's Day. And uh, establish your love. Chapter 149 at the O2 Ritz. And uh, there's some interesting matches, certainly. There's one that I think is just going to, you know, people are just going to be diehard nuts for in the building. And that is the 0121 Dan Maloney, Man Like Reese, Omari, and Leon Slater versus CPF, Khan Newman, Just Yolando, Danny Black, and Maverick Mayhew. Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you know, this is not going to be a match for the wrestling purists out there. You know, if, you, if you're looking to see a, a wrist lock, you'll see him. If you're looking to see a German suplex, guess what? You'll see him. You'll also see a shitload of dies and flying and uh, lots of excellent tag team combinations and probably a few moves that were a bit contrived at times. But you know what? You're going to chant, this is awesome as they're doing it. It's going to be a great, great match. It really is. And um, there's going to be a lot of flying through the air. And I think Dan Maloney is going to be doing an awful lot of catching of people. Mm. Uh, Warhorse versus Maggot versus 2-Bit versus Tate Mayfairs. That is fun. That is just fun right there. It's, It's not fun. It's not fair to poor Tate Mayfairs. I mean, first he's got to take on yet another... Indie darling import from the US, plus the German darling import, Maggot, and, uh, you know, Manchester, you know, land to bit. Yeah, a <laughs> northerner. Poor Tate Mayfairs. Uh, Delano, Austin Experience of Sky Spencer and L.A. Taylor versus Raven Creed and Danny Luna. Nina Samuels, because we all need no Nina. Is teaming up with Lizzie Evo um, to take on Millie McKenzie and And Alexis Falcon. Falcon. Yep. Yes, because they believe that Alexis Falcon and Millie McKenzie are children and they need to grow up. That, that's a really good reason for a wrestling match. Warren Banks versus Kid Lycos is great because we love Warren Banks and we're glad to see him back. Indeed, Sunshine Machine versus Smoking Aces is awesome. Great to see the Aces back. Sunshine Machine, uh, I think they'll probably retain because uh, they've just beaten the uh, the record. I, 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 they've never beaten the Smoking Aces though, so this is uh, their redemption match to say that they finally beaten everyone and uh, as champions as well. So I doubt they're losing. I doubt they're losing as well, but um, it's a good storyline reason for a match, which is nice. Yes. We like that. Luke Jacobs versus Kid Lycos 2. Good match. Uh, Gene Money and Tom Dawkins versus Spike Trevay and Bullet. Uh, we'll talk more about Spike Trevay and uh, Tom Dawkins in just a little bit when we talk about the uh, second progress show this month. We will uh, do. You can also check out Ignite Wrestling Pro uh, down in Borumwood for the next episode. Uh, Corey McRae versus RJ Singh. As I say, Corey McRae is somebody we think is drastically underrated. And uh, against RJ Singh, you know, a veteran of the business. The Rebellion, Jack Terreno and Taylor James versus the Bryants, Nino and Xander. Uh, Chimera Chimera versus Aluna Blue. More on that one in just a minute. Uh I know you're a big fan of Ignite Wrestle Pro and about being in Boring Word as well. Yep. No, because I'm going to be somewhere else that day, aren't I? You are going to be somewhere else, uh, which uh, it will mean, unfortunately. But Smashing Mike versus Mark True. I, sorry, I should have mentioned that match. Blinder. Smashing Mike, Mark True. Love that. Uh, yeah. You are, of course, going to be where? I am going to be in Oxford. Ooh, awesome. somewhere else I've never been before. 
I have been Oxford before, but I can't remember why. It might have been for cricket when I was younger. Probably was, you know. Posh Did you used to play spot. cricket? Yeah, I captained Hertfordshire for like three years. Okay, you did it to a good level. I won't take the piss. I'll be nice. <laughs> Yeah. Normally, I take a piss out of cricket. Um, I, 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 I was really a, a little tangent story here about my cricket days. Uh, my PE teacher at, at high school found out that I played cricket, not just for Lechford, but for uh, Hertfordshire as well. Not the, the fact that I captain Lechford, captain Hertfordshire as well. So he asked why I never tried out for the cricket club because I didn't want to, was the basic answer to this. But I literally felt threatened by this uh, grown man into uh, joining the school cricket club. So I just took the piss and played really badly and just had as much fun as I could with it at school and uh, eventually quit the game completely because I was sick and tired of playing the game five times a week. So, little cricket story. I don't like cricket. I've never liked cricket. Boring. And... and the reason I don't like cricket is Phil Tufnell. Phil Tufnell was my cricket teacher when I went to a private boys' school for a little while. Um, that's an entirely mm. other story. Um, and, um, yeah, he made us play cricket in the snow once. And, um, yeah, at the age of nine, that was a big thing. And I, I don't do cricket. I think it just well, no, no, this was more like at the age of, let's see, I would have been year seven, so like 11, 12. Who is it that uses a cricket bat as a weapon in wrestling? Uh, pretty much anyone that's British. There was someone that used to regularly have a cricket bat, and it's going to piss me off that I can't remember who it was. It was in TNA. Ah, it's going to wind me up. I remember later. Doug, it can't be Doug Williams. It wasn't but... Doug. But somebody definitely used to have a cricket. I bat. remember Mark Coffey and uh, Dan, uh, Dave Mastiff pulled one out in the uh, takeover show in Blackpool. But typically, it's it's a it's a British thing, isn't it? Cricket, so that's what we get. It's, it's, it's every now and then we get a snooker cue as well during these uh, British hardcore matches. Yes, not a pull cue. Not a pull snooker cue. cue. Snooker cue. Yes. Right, I'm going to get the list of matches up um, because I haven't got them written on my sheet. So, for United Wrestling, we have an amazing um, end zone match, um, which is the early access exclusive. Um, would you like to run through who's taking part in that? Because you did write them down. Uh, Alfie, Vicky Two Thumbs, Violet Knight, Handsome Jack, Judas Sexton, Andros J, Razor, Cameron Braden, and I think there are two more yet to be revealed. Right, I'm I'm just gonna say it to you, Judah Sexton. Get rid of Sexton. Get 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 sex out your name. Just it, we we don't need another. You just, yeah. What was Edge's old name? Edge. Yeah, when he wrestled on the Indies, he had I don't think, Sexton Hardcastle. <laughs> Yeah, 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 just avoid <laughs> that type. Anyway, uh, well, other matches on the card. I'm sorry. The number one contenders match is Ricky Delight versus Simon Quest. We've got Dale Johnson versus Tony Sin, a future proof qualifier. We have a tag team championship match with the Odyssey, um, who we've already mentioned today, uh, Artemis and um, Adonis Payne, versus the 8 7, Alexander Roth and. Um, Big wavy Roy Johnson. He's big. And Rex Armstrong and Harry Sefton are going to be their challengers. And that is going to be a great match. We also have Aluna Boot versus Kira Chimera. Again. Again. <laughs> yeah, again. Told you we'd be talking more about it later. <laughs> it is a uh, big, 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 big shout out to both of these girls. We're going to put this match on twice in two different locations. So uh, fair play to them for making that money. Yep, and that match is an afternoon card. That one's on at five o'clock in the afternoon. So they will either be on at the beginning or the end when they drive in between the two venues. Uh, they'll be on at the end because the Ignite, remember, we found out was earlier at 3 p.m. Ah, yes. You see, we pay attention to this shit. We do. <laughs> right. Uh, so, yes, yeah, so I'm looking forward to going along to that. That's United Wrestling, and that is at a brewery again in Oxford, uh, the Tap Rooms. Uh, it looks like a really cool venue. 
Indeed. Uh, let's move on to the following weekend. On Saturday the 18th, it's no turning back for One Pro Wrestling. That is the, the engine shed at Lincoln. I'm going to shout out all this card, because I think it's a far better, stronger card than their last one. So, starting off, we got Will Ospreay versus Robbie X. The Rascals, uh, Trey and... Wentz versus Boisterous Behaviour, Leon and uh, Man Like Reese, Cara Noir versus Davey Richards, Rhino versus Mark Haskins, John Morrison versus Nathan Cruz, Session Moth Martina versus Liz Evo versus Ruby Riot, Taya Valkyrie versus Tonga, nice. uh, John Schuyler, Charles Crowley, Luke Jacobs and RKJ versus Will Cruz, Amir Jordan, Callum Newman and Scotty Rock. just to prove that we also put young British wrestlers on our card. And Alpha Hoopman will also be there. <laughs> Sorry, that last dig was not not that's unfair. This is this is a much better card. Although I still I don't quite get the eight man tag match up. They seem like two random ass eight man teams. Now, if you did one thing, I think it solves it. Go on. Swap Callum Newman and Luke Jacobs round. Ah, now I see where you're going with that. Because I'm um, sure Skylar Crowley, RKJ, and Newman would then represent the South. Will Cruz, Amir Jordan, Scotty Rock, and Luke Jacobs would represent the North. Yep. Yep, no, I see that. I, 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 I would have to check Skylar because I don't know too much about Skylar, but I'm looking, it just seems like really weird and I, I was to say I'm not be trying to be too critical on the card because I do think it is a far stronger card than their first one it's great to see that they do have these young wrestlers on a card that is going to attract a lot of national attention due to Will Ospreay and Robbie X as well as people like John Morrison on the card you know Rhino uh, Davey Richards for me is a great Kara, uh, him and Kara Noir are going to smash it. The Rascals, uh, yeah, Zachary Wentz and Trey Miguel versus Man Like the Reason Leon Slater is just going to slap. <laughs> yeah, tell, me what, tell, tell me your thoughts on this card. Uh, I think this is a great looking card. Um, I think that the match that actually the fans will enjoy the most there. I think the Kara Noir versus David Richards will be brilliant. I think the Will Ospreay versus Robbie X will blow everyone away. But the match that I think is going to really get the crowd going was Rhino versus Mark Haskins. Really? I do. Um, people weren't as into Rob Van Dam as they should have been with Rob Van Dam versus Mark Haskins, but they love to hate Haskins. Rhino can still go. Yeah. Rhino can still go really well. And him and Haskins will be able to put on a good match and they will they will own that crowd. They will do whatever they want to do, and they will take the crowd with them. And I think that match is going to be fantastic. For me, it's, it's that Rascals versus Boisterous Behaviour. Trey Miguel and Zachary Vance versus Man Like the and Leon Slayer are just going to do some phenomenal, crazy shit that's going to be insane. It's going to get the crowd going. And, of course, Robbie X versus Man Like uh, Will Ospreay. Can Will Ospreay get Robbie X his first ever five-star match? I believe so. Do you believe so? I do. Robbie X to be a five star wrestler. Uh, come, uh, he wrestled for five star, didn't he? I think probably did. Uh, UKBW also in action. Big shout out to these guys. Uh, we love them. Just Joe Lando versus the Suplex Merchant, Alf Edwards, Sapphire Reed versus Danny Black for the UKP Interregional Championship. A little tidbit here is. Uh, Just Joe Lando was originally going to be in the ladder match for the interregional interregional championship with Danny Black at their last show, but pulled out due to the injury he got a progress. He was replaced by Sapphire Ree, who went on to win the interregional championship and is now defending it against the former champion Danny Black. Little tidbit for you. Uh, Isn't Tommy... it nice when storytelling makes sense and is used properly? You know, even something like that, taking, you know, taking something a real life situation and turning it into something like the real life injury the introduction of sapphire reed and now we've so yeah it's it's a great little thing to do uh rain leverkusen versus amira uh big 
big things about Rain Leverkusen. Tommy Kyle was supposed to again be in action. Heart oh, bless Tommy. Uh, he was going to be facing Bullet. I'm sure there will be a replacement match. You've also got the 8 7 versus Harrison Leon and Tony Sin. I know you're a big fan of uh, Harrison Leon. I am indeed. Harrison Leon has got a huge upside. Um, and yeah, that's going to be a good match. I think he and Tony Sin will work together very, very well. The 8-7, we know, are a great tag team. They're a great comedy tag team as well. Um, you don't get to see their comedy chops as much as as you could do, um, but they have got brilliant, brilliant timing together, and um, I think that'll be a good match. Mm. Uh, now, uh, that is Blizzard Broad, and that's at the Falconwood Community Centre. But you are going to be in Stratford-upon-Avon, aren't you? I shall be in Stratford-upon-Avon. I shall be holding my microphone, I shall be wearing my tux, and I shall be saying, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to phenomenal Elite Wrestling's Brave New World Chapter 2. I'm looking forward to hearing it uh, once again. Uh, look, yeah, big, big shout out to uh, PEW for the opportunities they provide, not only yourself, but uh, for myself as well. So uh, love these guys over at PEW. Uh a uh, match that I saw recently, Lance Rivera and Franco Fate, obviously working on behalf of Ryan Taylor, going to be facing off against Ryden and George Lydon. Ryden that's and Lydon. Be, yeah, that's going to be fun. Two young guys, really great, really fast. Lance Rivera. Lance Rivera is going to look like the old man in this match, which is terrifying. Yeah. Franco Fate is going to look like the very old man in this match. But Lance. Who was so impressed with Franco Fate when we saw him against Jack Selstrom? When we got yeah. to call that match, that was a hell of a match to call. And uh, yeah, no, phenomenal that's gonna performance. Be good. That is going to be good. I'm really looking forward to the entitled Big Jim Die Hard, Brody Phillips and Riley Nova taking on Jason Joshua, Smashing Mike. Uh, sorry, Jason Joshua, Styx and Serico. Um, really looking forward to that match. I think that's going to be great fun. And Smashing Mike versus Key and Kelly, their match at the previous PEW show, which you can watch on YouTube, introduced by me. And it's the first match on the card, so you don't even have to scroll through things. <laughs> it was a great match. Key and Kelly is great. Yeah, again, another guy who should really be in more places, big technical wrestler, knows his way around the world the ring the sly technician is the exact right name for Kian foxy keller i'm also really looking forward to introducing ivy versus harley hudson everybody hates ivy everybody loves harley they are both perfect in their roles and i can't wait for that match and then martin kirby will take on jack selstrom for the pew championship yeah, I mean, that's one hell of a... It's a great lineup. I'm not going to lie. Good, good, good show. Uh, get your asses down to Stratford-upon-Avon. Is it the new Methodist church? It is the new Methodist church, which means you're off the top rope. Higher ceilings. Higher ceilings. Ceiling. Ceilings, and ceilings with room enough to fly like angels. And this is what we like. We like a high ceiling. <laughs> uh, on Saturday the 19th, you can Sunday. catch out... Sunday the 19th, sorry, you can catch live in Southampton 22 for Rev Pro UK, where Will Ospreay will be facing off against ICW champion Leighton Buzzard. Yeah. Give me some thoughts. Give me some thoughts. Thoughts. <laughs> Leighton Buzzard is amazing. Will Ospreay is the best in the world right now. Um, and and I think that they will have a absolutely brilliant match. I love the way Repro UK are kind of using him here now. Is you know, he says he's not going after the British Heavyweight Championship, you know, that great O'Khan's got that at the moment. So, he, you know, he's just out there looking for the biggest and best matches he can have, and he's open challenge to everyone of course Lane Buzzard was the first one to get out a promo about it and uh Will Ospreay Andy Quilden checked out his stuff and were like yeah yeah bring this man down to Southampton let's go and yeah. uh gives me hope for Will Ospreay versus Daz Black you know shouting it out Daz Black versus Will Ospreay please 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 yeah yeah I'd fit. like to see that uh, Yota Suji versus Leon Slater uh, and Damaloni versus Luke Jacobs. 
Dan Maloney versus Luke Jacobs is going to be amazing. Um, everything Luke Jacobs does is wonderful. Everything Dan Maloney does generally is pretty damn fine. It's going to be a great match. Indeed. Uh, skipping up to the, like the uh, final weekend of February, which is the uh, February the 24th and starting on Friday, where Repro UK are live in Cardiff for the very first time. And Will Ospreay will be in action. Yep. Don't so know, know about it. Yet. So, yeah, again, so who would be the biggest name for him to fight coming out of Wales right now? Uh, can't really do Brendan White or Danny Jones due to the fact that... Uh, Flash, probably. Flash Morgan could be, could be. Nico Angelo is a match I would like to see, but is he a big enough name? Possibly yeah. not, although he has worked with Repro UK before. I'm pretty sure Flash has it as well. We know Danny Luna, of course, is representing Repro UK these days. Flash used to be a tag team with um, Mike... Um, Wild Boar. Um, yes, they used to be a tag team in Ref Pro. Okay, there we go. I remember they were a tag team in progress. I couldn't remember if they were uh, made Ref Pro UK. Uh, but yes, they apparently. They I did. saw them live. <laughs> and then, of course, uh, Eddie Dennis, you could say, but of course, they already had their match, and that was oh, so good. Go check out yeah. my February review for that. Uh, Saturday the 25th, you got British Wrestling Revolution, No Gods, No Monsters 5 in Grimsby. And there's a tag team tournament for the vacant championship. There is, and um, th there's there's quite a um, quite a lineup as well, isn't there? Especially for the cruiserweight championship. Yeah, the only match that has officially been announced uh, for the cruiserweight championship is Scotty Rourke versus Tom Farewell versus Leon Slater versus Jack Bandicoot. That's quite a good match, isn't it? <laughs> You know, we're big fans of Tom Farewell here. We're big fans of Jack Bandicoot here. We're big fans of Scotty Rourke here. And we're big fans of Leon Slater here. And we're going to tell you outright, go to British Wrestling Revolution because this is going to be a great freaking match. Doesn't matter what they announce for the rest of the show. But they've also got uh, Rampage Brown, Brady Phillips, Will Cruz, and Gia Adams in action. They have Will Cruz, I think, is going to have a good year this year. I'm seeing him in more and more places. Um, he's a great wrestler. I think it's just going to be a good year for him. Okay, now we're going to Progress Wrestling once again. Uh, they're in action on the 26th when the man comes around. It's the Electric Ballroom Camp in London. Scott, uh, Spike Trevay versus Tom Dawkins. So I don't think this is for the championship, this is just for Tom Dawkins. To have the chance to once again be Cara Noir if he picks up the win. Your thoughts on this storyline, how it's played out so far, how it's coming, and how it's yeah. Give me your thoughts. It devalues the loss of Cara Noir, which was such a major storyline. Such a, a major, major thing. Um, I personally feel it devalues it because it's come too quickly. Um, but it's, in my opinion, and opinions are like assholes. Um, I just. But has um, it come around too quickly because we missed, well, Tom Dawkins was advertised to show, so he had to pull out for an injury. I just feel that it's all just, it should have been a good year of not having him and him having to work his way back up to it. And I, I don't feel there's been. Well, we are him. coming up to Super Strong Star Week. Oh, no, we're okay. We're good three months away from Super yeah. Strong Star. So it's nine months in. I do think they, they are rushing to possibly end the storyline. I don't think it's worked as well as they wanted it to. I think it's hurt the fact that obviously he's been competing for in a while elsewhere the wrestling fans as we know we're, we're a lot smarter than we used to be we follow 20 companies in the uk because we have to because there's 20 companies in the uk but the story is good but i don't think the story needed the championship mm. i think that's might be a little bit where it's fallen apart i don't think the championship belt needed to be in there um well, the championship is not going to be... Well, as I say, I don't think it's for the championship. It's just for the right. So I don't think there's... Uh, 
I don't know. I feel like they are trying to maybe rush to come to a conclusion to just have Cara Noir back. It hasn't worked out the way they wanted to. Probably hasn't been helped by the fact that, as I say, Tom Dawkins was absent from two shows that he was uh, due to be on. As it probably hasn't was. helped, but tell him that Cara Noir is still advertised for other companies across the UK. As Cara Noir. But, you know, it was just the fact that he couldn't be Cara Noir there and progress is the highest paying of all independent promoters and promotions and everybody wants to work. That that was kind of the gist of the storyline. But I, I think it's, it, yeah, it kind of has. Callum Newman versus Nick Wayne is something we should all be super, absolutely stokedly excited for. Uh, and I really hope Callum Newman bloody wins. Yep, Big Damo versus RKJ is something we should all be super stoked and excited for. It is. If it wasn't for the Atlas title and if it wasn't for him using his MP MPS thing to challenge for the Atlas title and challenge for Big Damo. And so, uh, so yeah, I get, you know, I'm, you know, it's an exciting matchup. Give me your thoughts on some of the rest of it. The fact that this is him cashing in his MPS championship opportunity. And for some reason, he's chosen for the Atlas title and he's chosen Big Damo. What? Ah, how do I not say stupid? Um, maybe not thought through. Maybe to keep away because they've put the championship in the wrong place with Spike Trevay and... Um, I think oh, no. could, could could easily do it. I think RKJ versus Spike Trevay would have been absolutely brilliant, and I think it should have been a match that we had built to and and done. And I would have had Spike Trevay retain because I still think it should be Warren Banks who dethrones Spike Trevay after Warren Banks and win Super Strong Style sixteen. Uh, but uh, yeah, I I think the the RKJ challenging for the Atlas title. It's not where I would have really maybe pushed this to go. No. RKJ is a fantastic wrestler. And RKJ Absolutely versus Damo is going to be a brilliant match. But is RKJ an Atlas champion? An Atlas champion is a big, big wrestler, generally. Wow. You associate it with the likes of Rampage, Walter, um, Big Damo, Damo. You, you don't Luke Jacobs. You don't necessarily associate it with a smaller, more technical wrestler. You know, RKJ. Uh, he's probably going to come into it around two hundred and nine pounds, which is yes, oh, <laughs> above the two hundred five mark in. Uh, but RKJ for me should have been challenging for the world progress title and it comes into my thing that there should be an Icarus division as well and the, the title should be there should be an Icarus there should be an Atlas and there should be the world title and uh I think uh yeah it's it's a bit of a wasted opportunity not to have RKJ versus Spike Trevade it could have been built to uh you know it just feels like I'm challenging you for Big Damo for the championship. I've accepted your challenge. You know, I'd like to have maybe seen it build to more than just that. It should have been, I challenge you. And then there was a tag match and then they faced off in triple before face. Don't worry though, because this show is not a shit sandwich, which is what we've just said, because all of those matches are actually absolutely brilliant matches. They can yeah. be amazing and fantastic. We're just whinging about storyline and we're nobodies. Yeah. Um, yeah the yeah. rest of the card. Oh, we've got the Cal Newman, Nick Wayne. That's great. We've got Big Damo, RKJ. That's great. We've got Spike Trevay, Tom Dawkins. That's great. We've got Alexis Falcon versus Nina Samuels, and that will be absolutely brilliant. And I'm sure nobody will interfere or interrupt in any way. Yes. Axel Tisco versus Mike Bird is a match you should really be excited for. It's going to be a technical standout, hard hitting match. Plus, Dan Maloney, Man Like the Reese, and Leo Rush are all going to be in action. And I do believe Man Like the Reese has already thrown his name in the hat for a match with uh, Leo Rush. That'd be a good match. That'd be a very good match. Rush doing his second uh, show for Progress this year. So uh, things are looking, you know, as I say, it's just the storyline aspect for a couple of these matches. I don't doubt they're going to be great matches. I really, really think they are. And it's good booking to put them together. 
is it the right booking around the storyline to get them there? I'm not 100% sure, but fair play, great matches. It's going to be a great show. And, uh, you know, just it's easy to talk about companies that are more prevalent and storylines are more thing. So that, I guess that's the reason why we talk more about the IC, the, the one PWs or the Ref Pro UKs or the progress is because it, it's. They, they for all the good that they, they are the top companies, but there are still areas where they can be criticized, and we should learn to criticize. And speaking of top companies, ICW, yeah, square go. Ryan Richards versus Landon Riley in a square go entrant tournament final, and then the yes. square go match itself. Right, hold on a minute. I'm gonna to need to have a shot of my whiskey here. <laughs> Get out to Scotland. Dylan Thorne, Shay Monet, Aaron Echo, Stevie James, Jason Reed, Angel Hayes, Shah Samuels, Casey, Jackie Polo, the artist formerly known as Jackie Polo, TV's own Jackie Polo, Charles Bungard have all entered the square go. Daz Black will be the number one entrant in the square go. Can he do a Walter that actually win? But you know what? That is why I actually had won the opportunity to enter as number 30 for the square go. <laughs> but chose to go in at number one. What a dick. <laughs> Sorry, Daz, you know we love you, but but uh, I suppose it's a great story if he does go on to do it, and uh, Daz Black versus Leighton Buzzard for the ICW Championship. Yeah, tasty, tasty matchup. But, uh, Dylan Thorne will come in at number two and throw him straight out. Ooh. Molly Spartan versus Rio for the ICW Women's Champion. They've just unveiled another, a new beautiful ICW Women's Championship belt on the last episode of ICW Fight Club. And it's a stunner. I think it's Rio's time. It is. I think it's Rio's time. time. Theodorus versus Sakiba Lee for the ICW Zero G Championship. Seems a little bit like a throwaway defense for Theodorus, but that could be where the swerve could come in. Yep, the KOE versus the Young Boys. Yeah, Marcus King and Adam King versus Logan Smith and Jimmy Pierce for the ICW Tag Team Championships. My money's on the KOE for that one. And then a match that I am very excited for. During his run with NXT UK... I always really enjoyed Kenny Williams. And my favourite match from last year um, from NXT UK was Kenny Williams versus Mark Andrews in um, uh, one of the just yeah, just yeah. a random match. And it was brilliant. Um, I love Kenny Williams. Kenny Williams versus Leighton Buzzard should be brilliant. Really, really should. Uh, he is no longer the cockroach. He is just the scum of the earth. And apparently he spits black, black goo now. Yeah. That's, that's the thing that he does is spit black goo. So uh, keep an eye out for that. And this is going to be available on Fight TV as a live pay-per-view. Ooh. Ooh. And they're doing the ICWs, as I say, live on YouTube right now. So, oh. uh, something to keep an eye out for. Something to keep an eye out for. What are your five shows that you are most excited for? And I'm going to take them off the table for you. And just can't you can't just say uh, United and PW because you go into those shows. But no, you go into those shows. So, what are the shows that if you weren't going to, you'd like to go to? It's uh, that you can't. I would say. Number one would be Heavy is the Head um, by Soft Pro. Mm -hmm. I think that is going to be absolutely brilliant. Um, seeing as I can't say United, I'll say Ignite instead. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, the ICW Square Go, that'd be brilliant. Um, would love to see that. Ref Pro Live in Southampton, um, I think is a really exciting card. And Progress, Man Comes Around. There we go. Like it. Uh, let's make it the same uh, thing for me. So I can't say soft pro. And I guess I will take establish your love off the table. Though it's not confirmed. I'm definitely going to that show. I'm just likely to be going to that show. 
so we'll just say that one off to go. Uh, uh, I'm going to go for Planet Wrestle Entertainment on in Lee's on uh, the Saturday the 4th. I think it's going to be a fun new company and uh, something to look it's to be excited for. As I'm going to be a soft pro and cannot be there, I do like the live in London, uh, 70 for Rev Pro UK, Danny Luna, Jody Fred, Robbie X, Kid Like Us, Luke Jacobs, Connor Mills, Eddie Dennis, Michael Logan, Chris Bronson, Dan Maloney, plus the Arrows of Hungry Return. Uh, new wave wrestling over in Wales. Uh, is a one, uh, I think, yeah, F- Flash Morgan Webster, for James Ellis, Dad Sad Boys versus Harrison Bennett and Shane Hooker. Something to be really excited about. Uh, North Wrestling NCL, uh, all Rose Lead, North Liam Slayer Shreddy, Boisterous Behavior versus Robbie X, Michael Oak, Rory Coyle, Ali Cash, Lana Austin, Natalie Sykes, Dad's Black, Joseph Marks. Jet Marshall, Amir Jordan, Warhorse, Rio, Evie Bateman. It's just so much. Uh, I'm going to give one pro wrestling because I've been harsh on them a lot of times uh, about their previous and their first card. This card, really, really, really exciting. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to agree with you. Uh, live in Southampton, Will Ospreay, Leighton Buzzard. How can you not be absolutely excited for that? Uh, give me your top five matches from any show, any card. Ian Skinner versus Smashing Mike at Soft Pro. Sam Gradwell versus Grady Phillips at Soft Pro. Um, because I love Grady Phillips and I love Sam Gradwell. Uh, the Odyssey versus the Lads at Jurassic Pro, just because I like all of those people. Um, Eddie Dennis versus Michael Oku at Rev Pro, um, because I think that should be an absolutely fantastic match. And Will Ospreay versus Leighton Buzzard for Rev Pro. Um, so there you go. Okay, uh, let's go for something for myself. Uh, I'm going to take Endercaro versus Leon Slater from Soft Pro. That's going to be just absolutely incredible match. Uh, Luke Jacobs, uh, no, you're yeah, right. Eddie Dennis, Michael Oku, something to be really, really excited about. Uh, Nico Angelo versus Leon Slater, modern Noma Pro Wrestling, Tuesday the 7th. Hmm. Oh, the 0121 Dan Maloney, Man Like Doresa Murray, and Leon Slater versus CPF Callum Newman, Just Jerry Lando, Danny Black, Maverick Mayhew. Is that three or four? That's four. That's four. Oh, God. Uh, oh, shit. I just remembered one that I forgot. Uh, I'm going to go the Rascals versus Boisterous Behavior uh, for five. Mm-hmm. But I want to get rid of Michael Oku versus Eddie Dennis because I want to put on Leighton Buzzard versus Will Ospreay. <laughs> There's so many great matches. Yeah. What's the one you missed out? Uh, Rio versus Molly Spartan. Oh, I had Rio versus Emerson Jane as well at Discovery Pro Wrestling. There are so many great matches. Just get out there and support all these great wrestlers, all these great promotion, all these great matches. Support independent wrestling, support UK wrestling, support Brit wrestling, support wrestling in Ireland, Scotland, England, and everywhere else in the world. Uh, let me quickly uh, shout out Passion Pro. Uh, I know they've got a show on the 19th of February that has Connor Mills versus Peter Tahani. Um, oh, that is just incredible. Uh, Thomas Sasbo versus Endercara versus Gil Blanc will be a great match. Uh, Can I ask you a non britain rest question? Go for it. Have you watched the Royal Rumble? No. Okay. The Women's Royal Rumble this year was brilliant, and Rhea Ripley is an absolute legend. We knew this already, but, oh, my God, she performed so well, especially when you find out that halfway through she dislocated her knee. Damn. I I will go try and check that out. Uh, Singles match, uh, Tristan Archer versus Metahan or Teoman. Back now that he is. Uh, Senza Blanc versus Robert Dreisker. Uh, as I say, this is 19th in. That's in Passion Pro. That's uh, where is that? That's in Hungary. Uh, you should body Zoy wrestling in Belgium. I've got a great show coming up. Uh, the UFO Zone, which features Leon Slater versus Robbie X. 
Uh, the CPF boys, Danny Black and Just Joe Lando, are going to be out there facing off against Rivalty, which is Ultima Sombra and MBM, which are two fantastic competitors out in Europe right now. Uh, absolutely been killing it. And in the main event, it is Gil Blanc versus Bandido versus Senza Volto versus Tucker, uh, former NXT UK star Tucker. Uh, and as I say, uh, AEW star Bandido, who is the current Bodies Oi champion. And that show is on the 26th of the 2nd. Oh, I forgot to mention another show. Uh, what's another show? Uh, just very quickly, I forgot to mention um, UBW. Oh, yeah, sorry, UBW. They've got two shows this month coming. They have indeed. Um, they've got Welling Garden Warfare, uh, which features a number of different matches, including Harrison Leon versus Ricky Calvert, Mean Team versus Team Strong Bread. And um, because Tommy Carls had to pull out, he was meant to be taking on James Mason, which I was really interested to see. James Mason will be taking on Ricky Calvert. Um, that is this Saturday, uh, February the 4th. Um, and that should be absolutely fandabby dozy. Absolutely. Uh, also, Bo Bells versus Artemis, which would be great. So, yes, one in Garden Warfare. Look it up. It'll be good. Absolutely. So, go check all those out. As I say, they're really looking good. Uh, oh, there's HCP and Catch uh, Pro Wrestling that has Nina Samuels versus Mila Schmidt. And that's Ooh. on the 25th of February. So, that's a. Something to look out for. Shiga Hero Irie is also on the card. As is uh, Zack Knight is also in action over there against Big Morden Shade and Antonio Adamo. Cool. So, yeah, as I say, UK stars making a splash across uh, the uh, scene in Europe. And I believe our boy uh, Corey McRae is off to... Uh, is it United Wrestling or... Unlimited wrestling over in Germany. Uh, Wicked. So good to see Corey McRae doing uh, things over there. Uh, some big stars also on that card. Ah. Well, I'm looking forward to our next recording where we can talk about exciting news coming up. Yeah, definitely. Uh, uh, got some exciting news. More, more, lots of news to come from the British wrestling scene. We're going to be trying to bring you a couple of interviews in the next couple of weeks as well. And of course, at the end of the month, we'll be reviewing everything uh, that we've been trying to talk about, uh, which will be another super, super long episode. <laughs> There's so much to watch, Dad. I know. We're, we're drowning in Brit wrestling. Which is uh, a wonderful thing. It is absolutely a wonderful thing to see. So, yeah, as I say, make sure you support the superstars, the promotions, and just go see these incredible matches. Support independent wrestling, support British wrestling, support wrestling, and uh, don't feed the trolls. <laughs>